Happy September, everybody, and welcome to Photography 201. This month's assignment is going to encourage you to play with time. We're going to use long exposure and short exposure photography this month. You should be doing both of them. Long exposure is basically anything that is longer than intended to be used for a subject. So for instance, this is kind of context dependent. If you're photographing a hummingbird at a feeder, a 1 1,000th one of a second is a long exposure. If you're photographing a waterfall, 1 1,000th one of a second is a very short exposure. Okay? So the idea with long and short exposures is to get you to play with time a little bit, but to also see how your work can benefit from using different shutter speeds to capture different subjects. So for this assignment, Learn how to see the way in which images allow you to play with and control the recording of time. Take photos that use long and very short exposures. Blur motion, freeze motion, combine the two into a single frame. This assignment's goal is to change how you interact with time through your camera. Move outside of automatic shooting and take, ex take control of your exposure settings. Photography gives us the ability to control in a way how we perceive time. Star trails could last 45 minutes, could last a few hours. A single frame we can look at for a second or five minutes condenses all of that long period of time into the period at which we look at that frame. Conversely, photographing a rodeo you can take a shutter speed of a 4,000th to an 8,000th of a second. You can freeze a cowboy on a horse or wrangling a steer with dirt coming up from the hooves of that animal frozen in midair. The sweat on that cowboy's brow coming off of his face in droplets frozen. You can take that 8,000th of a second and stare at it for 5, 8, 10 seconds, 2 minutes. You can change your relationship with the passage of time. That's what we're trying to do here. Take both long and short exposures. Take a long and a short exposure of the same subject. Go with different subjects. Take a short exposure of a waterfall, a long exposure of a hummingbird. See what does and doesn't work with each of those. Try doing it correctly as well. Play with the way that you record time in your images so that you can see uh, how your camera can do that for you. See the, the results, the different results that you get from that. That's going to help you tune your creative vision into working with time as a beneficial aspect of your image composition and creation. Remember to give me a tag on Instagram at David Hancock and on Imgur. Again, links for those are in the video description. I really look forward to seeing what you guys do with this assignment because this is a good one and I really am excited to see your work for it. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you in October.